Hey guys, um, someone on the forum was asking uh, what they could do to line up logos across one side of the car, you know, from the other side. So I decided uh, that I might make this little tutorial about GIMP and how to use guides and uh, the grid. Um, so these things right here are guides. It highlights red when you're hovering over it. These three. Um, now you can click the move tool, but it has to be on pick a layer or guide. If it's on move the active layer, you, you can't move the grid. So, yeah, you click it and you can drag it around. Click them and drag them. Now, these things I find useful. What I do is, you know, I'll turn on the wireframe. Uh, to line up, you know, like say this logo right here on the hood. I'll turn on the wireframe and uh, find like one of the uh, wires that seems to be the center of the car. You know, try to line it up nice and good right there. And then, you know, click your logo. See the uh, the crosshair in the center there. Crosshair. It's the center of the logo. Well, the center of your layer. Um, and it will snap to the to the guide. It just snaps like um, you could snap the edges to the guides as well. And look now, you could snap right to the corner. But I use it to find the crosshair. Well, even if it doesn't snap your crosshair, it's still just nice to know where the center is. Um, now you can also use it to line up logos across your car. Well, I don't really need the wire for this. Um, so what I do is I'll place one logo, usually the logo that, you know, that's facing, that you can read, you know, the one that's not upside down. Um, and I'll try to find the crosshair as best I can with the guide and that, that's about good. Oops. Well, it snapped. And then, you know, snap this one to the grid, to the wire. Now that one's on the wire. I mean, yeah, and this one's on the guide. Yeah, it's useful to line up logos. And also, you know, if you use the pencil or the paintbrush, it snaps to the grid, the guide. Right there, you can find your specific point. And Snap. And the eraser will snap. Uh, I don't know. This is the box. Now the rectangle select doesn't snap, but you don't really need it. The pen tool snaps. Uh, well, it doesn't snap, but I mean, it lines up right on the guide, so you can get nice and straight paths if you want with your pen tool. So now there are two ways you can get a guide. The first and what I usually do and I find the easiest is you can just put your cursor over here on this side or on the top. You click and you drag. You just drag it out and you have a guide right on your image or on your template on your car. And then you know see now I have I have four guides, you know say oh, that's too many guides, I don't really need that many guides. I want to get rid of this one, so I'm just going to drag it like that, and it removes the guide. So this one for horizontal, and again, I don't need that many guides. Now the second way that you can get a guide is if you click on image up here, just click that, and then guides, and then new guide. And then, you know, horizontal or vertical, and then this. I'm pretty sure it's the pixel uh, where it's going to be added. So 250 is right on the line on the ruler. You add it, and there it is. Just right where you want it to be. Now, you can also have a grid, which is not showing because I don't usually use it. I don't use it. Uh, and I don't think it's a default to be on either, but if you go to image again, and then you can configure your grid if you want, 
and this is you know if you want solid lines or dashed lines or whatever you want so I'm going to pick dashed and you can pick the color you want your lines to be so I'm going to go with like gray okay I don't know what this does I don't know I don't know what this I think this is just like you know how many pixels yeah your pixels of your, your squares are going to be, I think. So let's just pick like 100 just because it's even. I don't know what this does. Hit OK. Now you configure the grid the way you want. You can hit View and Show Grid. And you click Show Grid, and there it is. And it it's just. You know, there the dash grid. Yeah, but I I don't think images and stuff snaps. It doesn't snap to the grid like it does to guides. But you can still line it up nice and neat like that. No, I don't I don't use the grid really. So I can't tell you that if you have the grid on like this and you export your image as a TGA to put on your car, I can't tell you if it'll show up. You know, if you have to turn that off before you export, I'm not sure. The guides you can leave, and when you export, the guides will not show up on your car in iRacing. So you don't have to worry about that. And the good thing that I like about guides too is very nice uh, that if you leave your guide there for whatever reason, just because you like, you know, I just like this one in the center. That's usually one of the first things I do when I open a template is I get the one down the center. You know, and then if you save it like that and you open it, I think I have left guides on this one. You just open it up again and you save it. And your guides are still right where you left them. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'm probably gonna post this on YouTube and in the forum. So Keep painting. Uh, have fun out there. Enjoy week 13. I'll probably be doing a whole bunch of paint jobs instead of racing this week. So, good luck. Thanks for watching.